Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 13 has been released. And just like all of our releases, we've got some fixes, improvements, and with this one, we've got some awesome new features. Now we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it, but if you're interested in all of the fixes and improvements, I will leave a link to the changelog in the description so you can check that out. But the main thing we have going on with LaunchBox 13 are new 3D boxes. So uh, as you see, when I'm scrolling through here in the cover flow view, by the way, this is the default theme, we get that nice flip on the box, but we can also set it up so we can manually rotate this from a controller or even your keyboard. It's really up to you. We've got new options in the controller and keyboard menu, so you can set this up, but uh, this is really awesome. These are going to be available in most existing themes where boxes are displayed. Right now we're using the full screen cover flow. Let's move over to something a little different here. We've got our vertical wheel. And as you can see, we do have boxes. These are also ready to go. So it's actually pretty cool. And uh, you know, in the past with the 2D boxes, we always had kind of a flip key. Now this is gonna go ahead and just give us a 90 degree angle on it. And I've got mine set up to F on my keyboard, but uh, to control the 3D box, I'm actually using my right analog stick on an Xbox controller. It's really easy to set up. So obviously this is available in Big Box, but it's also available in Launch Box, and we'll jump over there in a second. But uh, this is going to be really awesome for theme developers because it's fully themable and it works with any view. So as soon as all of the theme developers get the hang of using this new 3D box system, we're going to see some amazing stuff. And uh, right now it is working in the default theme. But I do want to give you an early look at a new theme that Farron has created that really revolves around the new 3D box system called Three Dimensions. So this theme is actually pretty amazing. The 3D box system works with full screen cover flow, cover flow with details, horizontal wheel one, vertical wheel one and two, and both of the wall views. We've got wall view one and two. I'm set up with the wall view two, which is actually one of my favorites right now. As you can see, we've got these three sections. And yeah, I mean, this actually works out really well. If I just want to flip this box, it's going to give me a 90 degree flip. Got a hotkey set up. And like I mentioned, I've also got my controller set up. So I can just totally manually move this box around, take a look at everything on this box. And the animations are super smooth here. I mean, this is really amazing. Let me swap this view out. We'll go to wall view one. Let's take a look at the full screen cover flow. Now this looks really awesome. As you can see, theme developers are gonna be able to create some absolutely amazing themes with this new system. Um, we can have our whole collection here basically interact. And as we move through, we've got full 3D control over each one of these boxes. We'll also take a look at Vertical Wheel 1, and this one's cool because we've got those stacked boxes over on the left-hand side. Overall, this is going to turn out to be a really great theme. Now, obviously, these new 3D boxes work in Big Box. That's what we were just taking a look at. But they've also been implemented for Launch Box also. It's not as extensive, but it's still really awesome to have this option in the Launch Box side of things. So, Wave Race... Got our box here. We can actually use mouse emulation to move this around. And with this, inside of LaunchBox, this is fully customizable. So uh, for each platform, if we right click, we can go to edit. We have a new option, 3D model settings. In my opinion, the default settings look great, but we can override those default settings from here. And we've got a lot to mess around with. So we can change the model type from box to DVD case or disc, and I'll show you that in a second because this does come in really handy for different systems that really didn't use boxes. We can force the model size, enable full scan image, we can go landscape if we want to, force background color. If you don't force the background color, it's actually going to choose one depending on the front cover's color. So it kind of matches it up automatically for us, and I think it does a really good job. 
We've got the left side, top side, bottom side, and right side here. So we can draw a spine image, we can rotate it, we can draw a clear logo image and rotate it from here. So it's really up to you. If you just want that clear image, then we can disable the spine image. And keep in mind, EMU Movies does have a lot of spines that we can download. And you can also do a custom import if you don't find the spines you want for a specific platform. But even from the settings menu here, we've got control over that 3D box. Now another way these new settings come in really handy with LaunchBox is kind of changing over to a disc or a DVD case. So for instance, if we go to Sony PSP and check one of these 3D boxes out, you can see that it looks a bit big. These were definitely smaller UMD cases. Pretty easy to change this. Right click, edit, 3D model settings, and from the model type, we're gonna go to DVD case. And we can actually even take a look at it right here. Thinned it out just a bit. And now we've got those thinner cases right here. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. I think it's a great new addition to LaunchBox and BigBox. And one of the coolest things about this new feature is it's actually backwards compatible. So any kind of theme or view that used kind of a flippable box, it will implement those 3D boxes. So if I head into my themes and just choose an older theme, this hasn't been updated yet for the 3D box system. We'll go with Critical Zone V2. This does have a couple cover flow views and there was no modification needed whatsoever with this theme for the 3D boxes to work. So this is backwards compatible. It's also fully themable so it can be included in any game view and uh, developers are really gonna love this new feature. And just a heads up, I wanted to show you how to set up your keyboard for that flip key, just in case you haven't set it up, and to control these from the keyboard or even your controller. It's pretty easy to do. We're going to head into the big box options. So if we're looking to set this up on our keyboard, we can just go to keyboard mappings, and all the way down at the bottom, we have four new sections here. Rotate, model up, down, left, and right. You can set these to whatever key you want. We've also always had the flip box, and I've got this set up as my F key. And if you're looking to set this up with a controller, we can head down to the bottom and you can map this to your right analog stick because inside a big box, there's not much that we're gonna do with this if you haven't set it up to do anything. That way we can just use that stick as a nice manual control for those 3D boxes. And in here, you can also set up a key to flip that box. So it's really simple to set up with your keyboard or your controller. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy the new 3D box system for Big Box and Launch Box. I'm personally really excited to see what theme developers come up with. And, you know, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. And definitely keep an eye on the forum and the YouTube channel because we've always got new stuff on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.